Hello everyone. In this video, I will be demonstrating the lateral vascular space, that is the right vascular space in this case. The space is important because it has the uterine artery at the origin, the internal iliac artery, the ureter, the hypogastric nerves, the pelvic lymph nodes, and it is important for procedures such as myomectomy, endometriosis, and radical hysterectomy. So here, what I've done is dissecting this space with a harmonic from the round ligament back up to the pelvic brim, usually parallel to the IP ligament. What is important here is the medial pull I give on the IP ligament that exposes the ureter. Next, we have to cut these transverse fibers. Just as cutting the transverse fibers, we come across some bleeding. Bleeding should be arrested immediately, otherwise it stains the tissue and dissection can be difficult. So here with again the medial pull on the IP ligament, the ureter becomes exposed and you can see the ureter with its mesentery and its own blood supply which should not be disturbed. What we have to do next is push on the lateral surface of the ureter until you come across any resistance. If you come across any resistance, do not push but cut the tissues. If you push when there is resistance, there might be bleeding and again staining of the tissues. So as we go ahead, here we cut what is called the rooftop fibers, basically the fibro fatty tissue, so that the space becomes more clear and the uterine arteries can be exposed. Here I change the active blade away from the ureter so that it is protected. There is no heat transmitted to the ureter. So again I hold the tissue near the ureter and pull it medially and I cut the tissue parallel to it. As I keep cutting the tissue we come across a structure that crosses the space from lateral to medial. This is the uterine artery. The uterine artery is peculiar in such that it is slightly bluish in color it is tortuous and it has various patterns like a C-shaped and a U-shaped. Here I'm holding the uterine artery and I'm pushing the fibers parallel to the uterine artery so that it becomes exposed. And you can see that the uterine artery clearly originating from the internal iliac artery here. The structure that is lateral to the uterine artery is the obliterated umbilical artery which is the other branch of the internal iliac artery. I am holding the obliterated umbilical artery here and skeletonizing it. If you tug on the obliterated umbilical, you should see its impression on the anterior peritoneum like you see over here. That confirms the obliterated umbilical. So, you can see that the uterine artery actually divides the space in anteriorly into the paravesical space and posteriorly into the pararectal space. Here I am further dissecting out the paravesical space, which is whose boundaries are the uterine artery posteriorly and the obliterated umbilical laterally and anteriorly will be the round ligament. So as you go further down, you can actually see the levator ani, I'm not dissecting further down, but that is the inferior boundary for your radical hysterectomy dissection. You also saw the obturator vessels briefly in that space, if you see clearly again. That is the internal ilia giving rise to the uterine artery, obliterated umbilical artery. The space between the ureter and the internal iliac and anteriorly anterior bo border is the uterine artery is the pararectal space. The pararectal space is further divided into the medial and lateral pararectal space. Here I am going into the medial pararectal space where you can actually see the inferior hypogastric nerves and these nerves are very important in bowel and bladder function and it is these nerves that are to be preserved in your nerve sparing radical hysterectomy or even in cases of severe endometriosis. You can clearly see the nerves over there. 
the white structures that you see are the nerves. This is exactly parallel to the rectum if you look at it from the other side. So that is the rectum around there for you. So here you can clearly see that the uterine artery divides the space into the paravesical space and the pararectal space. You can clearly see the bridge over water. And now I'm dividing the uterine artery with the help of the harmonic. The harmonic neatly dehydrates the tissue, unlike the bipolar which causes charring of the tissue and it also approximates the tissue. Here it only causes dehydrating of the tissue and does not approximate the tissue and hence the ureter is further protected. So you can see that it dehydrates and it also neatly cuts the uterine artery without any undue bleeding. Once you cut the uterine artery, both these spaces are joined. Thank you for watching this.